Hey guys, Dr. Jockers here talking about mold toxicity and the effects of living in a house with mold. And so there's a difference between mold allergies and mold toxicity. Mold allergy is basically when you have a reaction to breathing in mold spores, whereas mold toxicity comes from a prolonged exposure to uh, certain chemicals, certain uh, gases that are released by the molds. And these are symptoms and, and they can really cross over with mold allergies. Oftentimes with mold allergies, it's more like a, a hay fever type reaction, maybe trouble breathing, sinus issues, things like that. Mold toxicity is going to cause chronic immune response syndrome or basically chronic inflammation throughout the body. So frequent asthma attacks, depression, a lot of issues with the brain. Mold is very neurotoxic. And when it sets off this chronic immune response syndrome, definitely affects neurological tissue, watery and itchy eyes, sleep problems, headaches, excessive coughing, fatigue, joint pain. These are some of the major symptoms of chronic mold toxicity. One of the questions I'll ask my clients is, do you feel better when you go on vacation? Like, do you just, a lot of your, do your symptoms just disappear after a few days away from your home? And that can be a sign that you're living in a toxic mold ridden home. And so mold depends on these conditions to grow. Moisture, it needs water and it needs fluid. Um, a lot of times mold spores will come in from the outside and get implanted and, and find a good place to grow inside. So sometimes mold spores will get in, but it needs a, a warm, uh, dark, moist environment. So a lot of times basements will be key areas or places around bathrooms or showers. These are, um, are key areas that you want to look out for, okay? So this is basically what it needs, and these are signs of growth in your home. If you're smelling a musty odor, you know, definitely take action on that. If you're smelling that odor, that's gases that are being released from the mold. Most of the time, you won't even smell it, though, and that's, that's kind of the stealth mold when you don't even smell it, you don't even see it, there's no discoloration. Obviously, if you see discoloration, if you're seeing mustiness, um, definitely want to get out of that environment or get that, uh, you know, get a, a mold remediation specialist to address it. If there are moisture issues, like if you're getting rainwater, for example, inside your home, uh, perhaps one of your, uh, you know, perhaps there's something going on with your roof uh, or something along those lines, or if you've had water damage from a toilet bowl, or from your sink, your dishwasher, things like that. Those are all clear signs. And if you're having allergy symptoms, if you're having kind of chronic allergy symptoms, chronic inflammation, even though you've been making healthy lifestyle changes, absolutely consider mold, get your home tested, look for certain areas that could be more suspicious. I would highly recommend that. See, mold produces these gases called microbial volatile organic compounds. And these gases are odorless, right? So you may not notice the mildew. A lot of people say, well, I don't smell mildew anywhere. I don't see any visible signs of mold, well, that's good that you don't, but that doesn't necessarily mean that your house is completely clean and safe. And so it's a really good idea to test. Um, here's tips to control mold growth. I mean, these are things that we do in our house. Control humidity, so dehumidifiers uh, can be really key, especially in areas, again, that are more susceptible, like basements, kind of storage areas, um, wherever, you know, like your, your hot water tank is, uh, in your house, that's a good area to put a dehumidifier, um, you know, looking out for any activity going on in showers and baths that you're using. It's a really important thing. Have proper ventilation. Quickly address any wet areas or water damage. So if there are, if there is water damage, address it within the first 24 to 48 hours. That is really important to keeping mold growth down. So you got to address it. And just on a daily basis, using an air purifier that also has UV, which is uh, germicidal. So UV filters, again, you know, being in sun, for example, mold doesn't grow well in that because UV is germicidal. It kills off, it's antifungal, kills off the yeast, the mold. Uh, so very important. And so benefits of having air purifier. Air purifiers, you know, definitely something that we live by. I mean, we've got multiple in our home. Uh, and they help clean the air by removing pollutants from indoor air. They're also very helpful. People suffer from asthma, allergies. And so we're moving into a, a new house here. And, you know, I've got 
air filters all over the place. You know, new furniture has a lot of off gases, obviously mold, like we're talking about here. You need a specific type of air filter. Um, you know, it, it needs to be hospital grade HEPA filter. And also, again, should have the UV, should be able to neutralize mold spores um, and have certain technology to be able to do that. And that is why the, the air filter that I use, we've got four of these actually in our house. Now, you don't, may not necessarily need four. I've got a large house. You may just get one. <laughs> My old home, we had one. So, um, and that was, that is the EnviroCleanse mobile UV system. This one is, is, is the best one I found for, for mold. So, you know, it's got the ultraviolet germicidal radiation to help kill the, the spores and neutralize those. And so I would highly recommend getting this, uh, you know, and, and you can find a link in the article that goes along with this video, but getting one of these, putting this in your house, um, you know, I can't remember exactly how many square feet each one gets, but the, the company will, will, will help you with that. But putting that in your house can really help because again, mold spores can come from the outside in too. So even if your house is clean, you can get mold in from outside as well, from like your patio, your deck, things like that. And so this will help neutralize that. And when mold spores get in, sometimes they can take root. So it's very important you have something to help neutralize. If you have high levels of these, yeast, these fungal toxins, mycotoxins, we actually offer a mycotoxin test from Great Plains Laboratory on our website. So you can check that out as well. The article that goes along with this video, I go over some of the most common molds, things like aspergillus and penicillium and uh, stachybotrys. And so these are the most toxic molds. And I go through those in that article. I also go through you know, where you can get this lab, this mycotoxin test, which I've had a lot of my clients run, particularly ones that have unexplained symptoms where we're following healthy lifestyle, we're taking supplements and the symptoms aren't going away. We run this lab and a lot of times we'll see that they have high levels of mycotoxins and that's the key area we need to address. And then this is a key supplement that we use, the biotoxin binder. So if you've got mold toxicity or mold allergies inside your body, and you have this, uh, this immune response, this, this chronic immune response syndrome, then biotoxin binder can be really helpful. It's a fulvic humic acid base, um, with some other things like molybdenum and it helps support the body's detoxification process. So these things get into cells, they help bind to mold, ammonia, aldehydes, and help work these things out of your body. So you need good binders to help pull these things out. I also go through some strategies to help boost glutathione levels, which is very important, helps support liver detoxification. Very, very important for neutralizing molds and mycotoxins in your body. So hopefully you guys got a lot out of today's video. Definitely check out the article uh, that goes along with this. And you can find out more information with the air filter as well as mycotoxin tests and the biotoxin binder. So guys, we'll see you on a future online training. Be blessed, everybody. Goodbye.